What is going on guys, it's your boy Death Gun with another Warframe video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Amber Sea of Fire build. So without further ado, let's get right on to it. Amber Prime is an amazing Warframe with great movesets. It allows you to crowd control enemies until really high levels and kill effortlessly enemies of low to medium tier. Now the build we're going for is without a shadow of a doubt a Firequake build but we're going a little bit more balanced we're going to be focusing on efficiency so we can non-stop use our world on fire ability allowing us to crowd control a lot better without having to worry about energy consumption now we're also going to be worrying on range keeping it at 145 for a good even amount this is right outside of the enemy's hit scan so they won't be able to target us before they get hit by our world on fire very interesting as we can see the stats, we can clearly see that we're focusing on two things. Efficiency, leaving the cost of our abilities to be really low, letting us, as you can say, spam set abilities. Our range is also very important. In our world on fire, having 21 meters of range and our accelerant having 29. When it comes to weapons, you're going to want something that deals a lot of damage in your primary slot. Why? Because in late game, as I told you, Amber's damage falls off so you're gonna want to have weapons to mitigate the damage loss and that can deal incredible amount of damage. I personally like to use my Zar with a corrosive and blast build to keep them knocked down. This works very well with Amber's Firequake. Now for secondary I always run with my Sycharis Prime for a simple reason the nullifier bubbles are Amber's worst nightmare. And the Sycharis is pretty much the best thing there is to take down said nullifier bubbles, being able to take them down in three shots super fast, extremely fast, so amazing. And for my melee, I'm going with my Lesion, incredible weapon with awesome damage that synergizes very well with Amber. You see, Amber's World on Fire ability applies fire damage to the enemies. So, this build with Condition Overload is already going to be doing wonders. You can see we have Viral, Radiation, Slash, and Fire on top of that. All this, plus Condition Overload, plus the knockdown damage from Amber's Firequake ability, and we're going to be doing loads of damage. Now, a very important part of this build to staying alive is Worm Prime, and to be specific, Crowd Dispersion. You're going to need this ability to be able to survive into late endgame with amber you're going to want to be able to move around and the crowd dispersion ability will make it so if you have a certain amount of enemies around you it'll throw them all the way to egypt i'm talking about it will send them flying like they got hit by 10 sonic cores at the same time so yeah this is pretty much the basic build you can swap out the czar or the lesion but the sycharis prime i would say is a must for amber if you really want to go into late game now, the main focus behind this build, as I've told you guys, is Firequake, a mixture of Amber's World on Fire and the mod Firequake. This will help you control crowds of any type of enemy up to almost any level. As you can see, it could be one, two, or even a huge amount of enemies, and you're going to be able to control them without a problem. And with our high efficiency, you'll never run out of energy as long as you're running around killing your enemies. Now, as we can see, we have a pretty good sized area of effect on our world on fire. Keep in mind, this goes completely around us, so we have a pretty good area where we'll be damaging and knocking things down. Now, I've set up several different types of enemies, so you guys can see what this weapon does. The Lesion. This combined with the world on fire and the fact that I put the enemies on fire before even the initial hit allows me to do insane amounts of damage. A very good combination, and I highly advise it. Now, for my secondaries, the reason I advise the Sycharis Prime, well, is for those pesky nullifier bubbles. As you guys can see right here, we just mold them down insanely fast. I highly advise this for high runs. Now, to finish things off, Worm Prime. As I told you guys, the ability on Worm Prime is amazing. Completely obliterating everything. You know, this will help you stay alive much longer and give you the edge in battle. Now, the last tip I can give you is make sure Amber's energy is a dark color. If you're going to be using Fire Blast, if you use black as energy, it will not bother you at all. Now, if you've enjoyed the video and it's helped you out in any way, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. For now, your boy Death Gun, out.